the head table. If we can get the guy from Purity Supreme to stop delivering orders. <laughs> The only supermarket is still doing house deliveries. <laughs> On my far right, the former mayor, former city councilor, present city councilor, uh, government affairs officer. Government affairs officer. I see that Christine Keel is back in the news. Do you want to say? <laughs> That's not the kind of affairs that you handle for, uh, for purity, yeah. No, he's pure as a driven snow, but he drifted. Uh, Clarity, I work alone while I'm up here. <laughs> I need a teleprompter. <laughs> yeah. Brian Martin. Brian? <laughs> Brian is also the co-chairman of today's uh, activity, so if you have any squawk and talk to him. <laughs> the next gentleman is Father Flater, the former pastor at Sacred Heart Church until the audit. <laughs> the auditor and treasurer for the Arbolates. Oh, my good friend, Father Gerald Slater, oh, my. The next gentleman is all the way in here from Westford. Family were in pig farming. But this gentleman went straight. He was the postmaster in Westford. Well, he couldn't read or write, but he was pretty good with numbers, and he's good, my good friend. We know him as Uncle Leo, Leo Cornell. Leo. And on my far rep, left, rep. Anybody got any state keys out there? On my far left, that would be on your right, uh, David. Yeah. This is the city manager of Lowell, James Campbell. Jimmy Campbell. Got to get that Riley School thing straightened out. <laughs> Three-story building in Belvedere. <laughs> and here he is himself. Here he is himself, probably over the years, the only man who has smiled more. <laughs> the power of positive thinking. <laughs> here is a gentleman who could put Dale Carnegie in the grave. <laughs> A super, super fella. Pert, absolutely the reason why they should lease and harness pit bulls. <laughs> Our good friend, the mayor alone, Richard Howe. <laughs> the next gentleman has just had his hair done. He's going to get it back this afternoon. But he's a super, super guy, and he's my friend. He's the former superintendent of the schools in Borica. I don't know what the story was. You lost the job, but maybe Talbot can explain it. But he is my friend, and I'm happy to call him my friend. Bill Flaherty and his lovely wife out in the audience, Eileen. Bill, Eileen. They've been married 36 years, and Eileen told me it seems like only yesterday. And she said, you remember what a lousy day yesterday was? <laughs> she said, in fact, if today was yesterday, I'd call the whole goddamn thing off. <laughs> Out in the audience, we have a number of other people who went with the $25 ticket, so they get introduced. City councilors, Bud Caulfield, Jerry Durkin, Joe Fitzpatrick, Curtis LeMay, and Tazi Pulias. Stand up. Polius, you want to sit over here next to the Chulas? I'd like to keep you guys together. Out in Borica, we have a whole array from Borica. Not too much talent, but we got a whole bunch of people. Up for re-election out in Borica as selectmen is Gordon Brainerd and Arthur Doyle. Arthur Doyle and Gordon Brainerd up for re-election in Borica, and they both say there's nothing to throw about out there. Also over at that table is the present selectman, two other selectmen, Tom Hap Conway and Steve Lentini. Steve Lentini. <laughs> Lentini, is that Italian? <laughs> I'll talk a little slower. <laughs> From the Board of Health, Jack Morris. 
Jack Morris, and in uh, Art Curtin, Art Curtin, a uh, great read, Art uh, Curtin, Art Curtin, uh, Curtin, the town treasurer. I guess I won't get my check that quick next time. The town administrator. They used to have a store in Lowell uh, by this name. They also have one in the Burlington Mall now. He is from the Talbot family, but he's the Mill family, I guess. This is Paul Talbot, the town administrator, and the woman who really runs the town, Evelyn Haynes, the assistant administrator. Evelyn and Paul. We also have with us this morning County Commissioner Ed Kennedy, a former city councilor. Eddie, don't forget me down there. You can send some business up, you know. <laughs> Even though I was with Matt Dunham, who I have to... Where is Matt, by the way? Is Matt here, or is he walking up from down the riverbank? <laughs> just found out there's water over there and everything. <laughs> I guess I blew uh, the Donahue and Donahue account again, yeah. <laughs> Out in Dragut, we have the uh, Jack Lyons, Warren Shaw selectman, and Frank Gorman selectman. Where are they? Dragut over there? You're all invited out to Warren Shaw's little restaurant out there in Broadway. It's open house today. Everything's on the house. Just stop in and mention my name. There's another fella out there who's the new town manager out there, uh, Dennis Pedak. Uh, Pedak? 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 Yeah, I guess the guy, the lawyer, couldn't get the name right either. Uh, <laughs> he thought he was buying a house. He found out he bought into a timeshare plan. <laughs> Nice to have you with us, Dennis. Next time, do business with my office. <laughs> you gotta get those plugs in whenever you can, Joe, you know what I mean? <laughs> From Chumford, we have Dennis Reddy and Rhodes, Rhodes Johnson. Imagine Rhodes. His first name is Dusty. <laughs> Dusty, Dusty. All the way in from Chemford on his Honda. But really, the girl out there, those boys are both up for re-election. But the girl out there that I love the most, because she's my size, and she is a girl, so then she got two things going for her. Bonita Toll is elected. Bonita. We have State Representative Ed LaLasher. Ed LaLasher from Lowell. State Representative Ed LaLasher, where are you? <laughs> Sitting over there with the St. Peter's Cadets. 